I have always wanted to make custom cars. I mean, why wouldn't you? You can just let your imagination run free and make whatever the heck you want regardless of if it appeared in a movie or short or whatever. I mean, in this case, the king with headset as a crew chief did appear in Cars 3, and I thought it would be rather easy for a beginner like me, but for the pros, just to name a few like Jim Scavenger, Joe's Minis, Four Wheel Drive 7, and Cars and stuff, they go outside the box and really create whatever they want, and that's what I want to do someday, but there are two restrictions. Time, and yeah, I'm not that talented with the arts and everything. I can create a cool thumbnail using graphic design on a computer, but applying that to real life and actually developing something with my hands, I'm not that good with, so yeah, I tend to buy from customizers. But I actually found this bag just kind of laying around in my closet and it had some parts in it, one of which was this headset. And I thought, well, let's give it a shot. I'm gonna try out my first very own custom, the King with headset here. And I have a bunch of loose Kings that I don't really need. I mean, I could donate them, but I've just been holding on to them. And this one here was the lucky winner, winner chicken dinner of the custom application. So in this video, I'll actually tell you guys how to make it and we'll review it. Just kind of like a fun, quick video that I wanted to do. I'm actually going to Disney World at the end of the week. So I pre-recorded a bunch of videos and just kind of want them to go out while I'm gone. And I thought this would be just kind of like a fun video to do. So starting off with the tutorial here, basically all you need is the king and a headset. But make sure that the headset actually fits. I mean, I've stripped cars before like this very, very unfortunate RPM crew chief. And his headset is this one right here. But as you can see, if I were to put that on the King, first of all, the microphone would be on the wrong side because I'll just throw that picture from the movie on the screen there. As you can see, his microphone is on his right side. So you just want to be aware of that when you go out and buy something to strip the headset from. So obviously, don't want to buy Chick Hicks because first of all, you know, you have the wrong design for the headset. The Kings does not have the yellow detailing, nor the antenna. You don't want to go and buy one like this. That's too small. So I recommend Daryl Cartrip with headset. I don't remember the exact headset that I used for the King, but it is pretty much identical except for the earmuffs here to Daryl's. And it seems to be long enough. I mean, it doesn't have to be exact, but you just want to make sure it extends kind of toward the mouth there. I mean, mine's actually very long. You could go for something even a little bit shorter. Brent Mustang Burger could be good as well. So just keep those things in mind when you go out and buy it. So that's it for the materials. We're going to back up everybody here. We're going to show them all later. Don't worry about that. And then you would probably want to have some really strong glue. This is what I use non-flammable make sure it is non-flammable but industrial grade strength adhesive this is just e6000 so get something like this maybe like gorilla glue i'm sure stuff like that would work i mean it doesn't have to be that strong because it's not like i'm going to be playing with this it just goes on display but yeah again just something to be aware of then you should probably get an exacto blade which is super sharp you really, really want to be careful around these. If you're on the younger side, you should probably let your mom or dad do it. Just so you don't cut yourself because I've cut myself before with this thing and it really, really hurts. So just be careful, but it is perfect for like cutting off the pieces that you don't need because keep in mind that when you yank a headset off, there are like some excess pieces that stick in to the actual body to secure it in there. Like when you take this out, there's like a whole bar underneath that goes in. And then there's like a little tab here as well. So I use the X-Acto blade to cut off those things. And all you gotta do is just like trace it a whole bunch of times, just like go back and forth, go back and forth, and eventually it comes off. So these are your materials here. And then you just dab glue on the headset. Make sure you put the glue on the headset, not the car, and then 
I just applied the glue to the top portion here and to the side there. That is the only two places that I thought it was necessary to secure the headset on. And then you just kind of put like a book on top of it or something with some pressure. So it stays like that. Let's sit for an hour or so and you should be good to go. And so that's why I did very simple. And I think it was a lot of fun. You know, my first custom, it was a good experience. Plus, who knows if Mattel will even release an official version of this. They had the perfect opportunity last year with this two pack here with Cars 3 The King and Cars 3 Jeff Corvette. And they just put the version without the headset that appeared at the end of the movie. Of course, he had the headset at the beginning when he was Cal Weathers crew chief. So, I mean, they definitely left it up for interpretation that they could release a version with the headset down the line, but I'm impatient. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do it anyway. And if they release it, so what? You know what? I have my first custom here. I can do a video and show you guys just in case they never decide to do it. But really, I mean, it's accurate to the movie because the king did not change his decals at all over 11 years. Still is Danico, 43. And it makes sense since he is the crew chief for the Danico Racer. There are his contingency sponsors, Silver Rims. Now, of course, he's voiced by real-life NASCAR legend Richard Petty. Kyle Petty voices Cal Weathers, who in real life is his son, but in the movie is his nephew. Don't know why they chose that direction, in my opinion. Kind of strange, but oh well. So that is pretty much it. I do want to mention a couple things. One is that now the three OG racers, the original racers from Cars 1, have headset appearances. We don't have a Lightning McQueen with headset yet, but I'm sure they will release one or maybe, just maybe, I'll do another custom. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I know it was just kind of strange, out of the ordinary, but I wanted to do something fun, a little bit of a change of pace than usual. And I hope this helped out if you are interested in making a custom of your own. Definitely give it a shot if you have the materials. Don't be afraid to mess up. I mean, it happens to all of us. I've attempted customs before, but they all ended off just absolutely terrible. And this one, you know, after a couple tries, came out pretty nicely in my opinion. I'll see you guys and next time for another video. Don't know what it will be, but I pre-recorded a whole bunch of videos that I think you guys will enjoy. So I'll see you guys then. Bye now.